Mad Dog here. Um, this video is a little bit off subject, not really bushcraft um, related, but something that's recently uh, happened to me, <clears throat> and I thought I'd just share this little bit of experience with you all. And um, it's something as simple as having a puncture on your motor vehicle. Now, coming home from work the other day, I experienced a puncture, no big deal. You know, you pull over, get the jack out, <clears throat> change the tyre, etc. No big shakes. Couldn't really figure out initially why I had the puncture. Couldn't find any foreign objects in the tread. <clears throat> but on closer inspection, I found that all the way around the inner wall of the tyre, that's obviously the side that faces under the vehicle, um, there was a series of like slash marks all the way around. Hmm, that's strange. Um, they're only cheap off-road type tyres, so this probably won't happen with standard road, road car tyres, hopefully. But uh, I got the vehicle home, changed, changed the wheel for the spare. And then on closer inspection, I found that <clears throat> all the other tyres had the same issue. So I'd only got one spare. Luckily, it didn't happen on the motorway. I was just not far from home as it happened. Um, now, I always check the tread uh, depth on my vehicles, and I always check the tyre pressures are correct as part of your everyday maintenance, which everybody should do. <coughs> but... I guess the little story here is, don't take anything for granted, get your head underneath your vehicle, check the inner walls, you know, because these things do happen, you can get a, what, like an egg develop, a lump, um, like I think in my case it's a case of delamination, some cheap, cheap ass knobbly tyres that aren't really suitable for hacking up and down the motorway every day, it's probably got too hot and start to break down. Um, but uh, I've got a little bit of footage of the actual um, tyre fail, so I'll, uh, I'll cut to that bit of this video. But like I say, check your tyres. Don't leave yourself in a vulnerable position. Because, you know, avoiding a survival situation in the first place is better than being, you know, a so-called expert at survival. Don't get in that position to start with. So a little bit of fore planning, a little bit of maintenance saves a bad situation. So I'll cut to that bit of the video, stay tuned. Alrighty, so uh, as you can see, I've got my uh, spare spare wheel on the front at the moment. Um, so I just assume I've got a standard puncture, nothing, nothing to worry about, no big deal. So, uh, but as it turned out, when I look around the rest of my tyres, let's get down here, I don't know if you click up, and get underneath this old truck. Now this is the opposite side, I don't know if this will pick up in this light, but all of them were the same. I've got like that crack, you know, the cracking that I spoke about all the way around. That's the passenger side, both the rears. Let me show you the actual punctured tyre and the boot. Bear with me. I'm the mad guys today. So here we go in the boot. This is the tyre that actually failed. And this is on the inside wall. Now if this will pick up in this terrible lighting, but there's cracks in the wall. The inside wall all the way around this tyre so it's like like I say it's like it's delaminated whether that's due to the heat of driving up and down the motorway just cheap off-road tyres I don't know but as you can see there's plenty of tread left I keep the pressures where they should be but uh, I thought I'd share this one with you all just so that you're all aware don't take your tyres for granted you know, just because of a first impression, you've got plenty of tread and the tyre pressure is good. Always get underneath your vehicle and check the inside walls occasionally. You know, because I was lucky I weren't actually on the motorway when this failed. And all four tyres are now scrapped, they're all the same. And I only carry one spare, so I would have been stuck. So I just thought I'd share this one with you quickly. Cracking, it's terrible, it's all the way around. Um, so yeah, today I'm going to get four new boots fitted on my old truck. And uh, I hope you're all having a good uh, good start to the week, better than mine. <laughs> this is going to be expensive. Um, I'll see you all soon. Take care. Mad Dog signing off. Yeah. Alrighty, so <clears throat> four new tyres fitted. Yeah. If this will pick up, but this time I've gone for a more 
road based um, tyre. It's still an off road tyre, but it's a town and country. So it's designed for basic, you know, gentle off roading, a bit of light mud, snow, wet conditions, that sort of thing. But with a less aggressive tread pattern, so it's better for motorway and high speed use. So I've got four of those fitted. You can see they're all brand new. All, uh, all four corners, obviously. Still got a good spare, a brand new Michelin spare. And um, yeah, I just thought I'd give a quick update. Got it all done, no problem. And um, yeah, it's a bit quieter as well, obviously, because of the uh, these are more road based tyres. You know, it's quieter for the acoustics. I don't know if you guys or lasses know or have noticed that a little bit of uh, general knowledge, really, I guess. If you look around the outside edge of your tyre, and this is true for any car you'll see that the size of the pattern of the tread right there is big, slowly decrease, decrease, decrease and then get big, 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 decrease, decrease and the reason that is, is because the size if they were all the same, the same block size the acoustics when you're driving along doesn't get broken up so it's like an acoustic science thing really so because the um, blocks vary in size, it breaks up the acoustics whilst you're driving, hence getting rid of the noise, that drum, that boom, boom, boom sound uh, of the road. Or in a Land Rover's case, the roar. You know, if ever you've driven one of these things, you'll know what I mean. The bigger and the more square and the more knobbly the tyres are, the louder the roar is. But basically, that's why the tread patterns vary in size like they do on the outer. And that's basically an acoustic uh, brake little bit of uh, <laughs> useless general knowledge there anyway these are um, all-terrain treads um, ranges made by Avon so um, all quality tyres my old truck here Just back up a minute excuse me I'm sorry about the roar of the traffic it's rush hour so, um, I've got the uh, roof rack back on my old truck um, just a footnote this little old defender is actually up for sale now so if anybody's interested, contact me at my email address, which I'll probably put below. She's in good order, full MOT, lots and lots of service history. Just a quick look round, tidy underneath. I've, it's been under seal from new, only one previous owner other than me. I service it every six to 8,000 miles. Lots and lots of history. I do everything that's required on a Land Rover. It's got new exhaust. As you can see, four new tyres. The chassis is all in good order, as is the bulkhead. Let's get under here. It's had a new rear cross member that I put on it when it was in my own ship, which was nine years ago, eight years ago. New rear shockers, new front brakes, discs and pads. Um, I serviced the gearboxes, um, the differentials, you know, the transfer boxes, excuse me. Good looking old truck. The only reason I'm selling it now is due to more motorway use basically. It's done 180,000 miles. Like I say, it's got four years MOT. Wow, sorry about the noise. Okay, the paint works, you know, it's not it's not factory, but for its age, you know, it's a 21, 22 year old vehicle. Still in good order. I mean this is just built for now from been stuck for a week or so. It's got a new battery, it starts up first time every time. And there is not much out there that's better than a Defender off-road. There really isn't. And I will miss it to be honest because you know it's load capacity. You know it, it, it is good. They really are a good old truck. Anyway I've rambled on long enough. That's a quick update on the tyres anyway. If any of you guys and lasses are interested in my old truck Please contact me at my email address below. Anyway, <laughs> enough. Mad Dog signing off. Take care all out there. See you all soon. Yeah.